Hey everyone, Jeff Teague. I'm in Carmel, California, and today we're investigating Highlander XSE. This, my friends, is the 2022 Highlander XSE. It's all-wheel drive. It comes in front-wheel drive or all-wheel drive. You'll find a factory MSRP for front-wheel drive of about 42,000 and about 43,900 for this all-wheel drive right here. I really didn't know what to expect out of cockpit red interior, right? With the blueprint color, but wow, what a color combination. Talk about contrast. It's mid-morning here, so you'll see a lot of dew and condensation on the windows. We're gonna walk around it auto style. Pretend we're at the Carmel, California International Auto Show. I'm the only participant. But look at that color, and you can see, look at the front grille. We're gonna go back to that in a minute. But look at that, it's got two different styles, an upper, a lower and they share different traits and properties of popular Toyota models that we see every day. I just cannot stop looking at that red interior. And you'll see on the back, it's gonna say XSE, but it's also gonna say all wheel drive. And as we walk around, look how the blueprint color changes in the light. Leave a comment with your thoughts on blueprint color. And what's interesting to me, my wife and I own a 21 Highlander Limited, but if you wanna drive on the wild side, the sporty side of things, this could be a choice. Look at this with the red interior. It's not all red, but it's a good mix of red with black accents, or you can say black with red accents, depending on which way you're looking at things. I see JBL speakers in the A-pillar. Let's go to the back here, and you can see it's got captain chairs. What's interesting to me is look at, wow, look at that, the door panel. And this is soft material right here, which always is indicative of higher class prestige and style. And then we're gonna look back at the seats in the back and you'll notice they do not have any red. So if you just need a break from the cockpit red, go to the third row. What's cool about this one here, again, we've got two different types of grills. We've got the three dimensional almost a honeycomb style. And then we've got the horizontal slats. And again, each of those is reminiscent to other popular today's Toyota models. You'll see the flat symbol here. That means there's radar technology, camera technology, and they're all working to help you prevent front collisions, lane changing collisions, help you drive better at night. This is Toyota Safety Sense 2.5 plus. So in addition to Toyota Safety Sense features, Toyota Safety Sense 2.0, we get things like intersection support. So when you're turning left, let's say at a stoplight, you're getting ready to turn left. Well, if there's somebody in the crosswalk or a car or a person, it'll let you know. Or if they're coming at you, it'll let you know so that you don't accidentally hit them. And in a perfect world, it's gonna stop you first. I've never tried that, but that's what it does. It's got LED headlights, LED daytime running lights, and then you'll see down here, it's got the LED fog lights as well, along with this nice metallic bumper accent. Wow. And remember, we've got evasive lane assist with Toyota Safety Sense 2.5 plus. It picks up road signs, stop signs, do not enter signs, yield signs, speed limit signs. There's a lot that it can detect. I particularly like the lane centering, the lane tracing, because what it does is it keeps you centered in your lane for up to eight or nine seconds. So that way, if you're going around even on a turn on highways, it'll keep you centered in your lane. And that works in combination with the radar cruise control and the lane departure alert. Wow, this is a lot of fun. I'm enjoying my time in California and I hope you're enjoying my reviews. You'll see Tundra content, Sequoia content, and Highlander content here. We do have a prop rod. We're all used to that. It's got a fire blanket right here and that offers a little bit of sound protection as well. This is the D4S V6, it's a 3.5 liter V6 engine. It produces 295 horsepower, getting out of the sun, and 263 pound feet of torque. It's matched with the eight speed automatic transmission. You will feel sport tuned suspension. So this has a more one with the road, more involved type of a drive. I feel involved. It's like Happy Gilmore says, will you just go home? Are you too good for your home? Just go home. We've got two tone. Alloys here, these are 20 inch wheels. And then we've got 235, 55 R20 tires for those watching at home. What do you think of the wheel style? Let's look at full picture. And what do I see? I see these LED tail lights that wrap way around. They're sweeping and curving all the way around. And that gives you the cool factor, Fonzie points, right? But it also gives you 
safety because people can see what your intentions are by looking right here. This averages 23 MPG because it's all wheel drive. If you get the front wheel drive, you'll get 24 MPG. We also see that this has color key door handles along with auto unlock and lock. What can I see here? Well, I see sunshades. Don't normally do that from the outside. I wonder how many times I could do this. But anyway, we have the gloss black side mirror caps along with turn signal indicators, blind spot monitor, that means rear cross traffic alert is in the back. And then if you open it up, we've got more to see. I just can't get enough. I just can't get enough. So here, one thing I do wish Highlander would have is being able to pop the glass like in years past. I think that's helpful if you're loading groceries, but it doesn't have that, so let's move on. It does have a backup camera with a backup camera washer, which is pretty cool stuff. It also has that same matching that you see in the front, that silverish metallic bumper accent, and then we see XSE all-wheel drive, but this is for Highlander. This is exclusive to the XSE. We've got dual chrome pipes here, so that's kind of a hardcore thing. We're going to take this thing to Thunder Road, right? And if we want to open it up, when Highlander was redesigned for 2020, it gave you more storage room in the back. It was 13.9 cubic feet, now it's 16. And you can kind of mix and match, let's say, sort of like you're buying produce at the farmer's market. We'll just mix and match and then we'll weigh it later. Well, you can easily put this down like that. Then you could store more things here, still have one person here. You could put the seats fully down if you want to. With the versatility of the captain chairs here, I can easily just scoot to the back if I want to. Or I could also, we're doing this on the fly, folks. We can easily pop this and then hop in the back. So we're gonna have to work with the sunlight here. But anyway, this is with the seat a little bit more forward and I've got room. I could put up this headrest here. I have good room. I have decent headroom in the back. I mean, it is a third row of a midsize SUV after all, but if I wanted to put the seat more back, then obviously we have a little bit more of a problem, especially if you're six foot four. So that's the back and let's curve on in here. And then we could see what we've going on here. We've also got latches so that if the seats are down, you could bungee and strap things down. It'll fit three people across. The seats are comfortable. They really are. Then we've got cup holders here. I wouldn't mind seeing some USB ports. I think that's necessary for the third row too. Maybe just one even. I think that would help. Let's talk about what we can do with these middle seats here because there's a lot of versatility. I'm five foot eight. I do have some headroom here. I've also got air vents in the second row and the third row, which is real important because we gotta be comfortable. We got a full family here, right? That's how we might use Highlander. But look, you could do wee, 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 just like that. So now we open up more room, but if we've got people in the back, let's move it maybe midway. We can also recline this seat so that you can chill out on trips. We can look at the moonroof that I just opened up. What? And another FYI, we can also just fold the seat flat. And that way I could see me stacking t -t 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 things up just like that. Look in the doors here. I see bottle holders or sport drinks sitting there. Maybe a little something here, a little something, something. And remember, block out the sun if we're traveling with kids or people who just don't want the sun in their eyes on the highway when we're curving and twisting and turning. And then we'll see if we can get a look from the back seat. What do you think? We get this a lot from people and they wanna know things like, what do we have for a power passenger seat? Well, we can go up. You can see me using the levers down there. We can go up. We can go way up, actually. We can twist it backward and forward, kinda of like that. We're also gonna honk the horn right now. So you can see. That goes out to Avero Dan, he loves the horn. We gotta test out the, the horn. So we can recline quite a bit. And the fact that you can move your seat down so far, that really helps taller people as well. 
Got to keep the co-pilot happy. Okay, we're looking in here, and I see a carbon fiber-like substance here. It's an interesting pattern. You can see it in the light versus not in the light, and we've got that raised multimedia touchscreen as well. You can see it has JBL sound system. That's Toyota's premium sound, so it sounds like concert-like performance, and I do recommend if it fits your budget that you get a vehicle that has the JBL. It makes a big difference. You'll also find Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, Amazon Alexa. I see USB connectivity, a 12-volt circular port. Maybe you could put a phone in that little thing. Hmm, interesting. What are these things? And my goal here with the red is to show you what it looks like in the sunlight. That's the popular view. But why not show it when there's less sun? Because we're going to be seeing it a lot in those scenarios as well. I think it's important to show everything. Again, I really just like the soft touch feel on this particular one. Good storage, back tailgate, automatic high beams, brights, trip, fuel, hood. Hey look, it's Highlander. This one has lumbar support, so the seat goes in and out. Gives you that emotional support that you need. Oh wait, I mean it gives you physical support, which helps you emotionally. I don't know, but it gives you support. Start it up, you can hear the V6 engine. Oh, I love the, I love the startup screen, you guys. It's just kind of funny to see what people come up with here. So we've got a nice information display that shows us information about the vehicle. And I'll just go through kind of quick so you can just see what types of things you might want to look at. Fuel mileage. We're just burning fuel, so it's going to be a little bit less. Remember, it averages about 23, depending on how you use it. Got Bluetooth audio. This is the all-wheel drive. This is dynamic torque vectoring, so actually it'll send power to the back wheels when needed, but it also distributes it left side, right side, depending on which one needs the most help. That's handy. Here's your settings. I like to show a blind spot monitor, I just do. We're gonna show it on the passenger side as well. Oh! Now we get to see what this looks like lit up. Steering wheel controls for your viewing pleasure. And now for these drive modes, look at this. We've got sport, normal, and eco. Eco is better gas mileage. You take a little bit off the throttle, the air conditioning system, just a little bit, but in turn it returns it to better gas mileage. Sport is more responsive accelerating. So if you wanna pull out into traffic, go up a hill. We can also change normal mode and turn this dial. Rocking dirt, mud, and sand. And I'll show you what this looks like right here. Yes, I will. We're at normal, rock and dirt, mud and sand. Where can you take it now that has mud and sand and rock and dirt? I can think of a lot of places. Where are we going next? Also comes with electronic parking brake, brake hold, traction control on and off, snow mode, downhill assist control, and then we've also got the engine start and stop. That shuts off your engine, so be aware of what that is because it will kind of lurch a little bit or jump start at a light but it saves you a little bit of gas mileage so you have to decide if you like that or not this is the chi wireless charging pad you open that up and then we get more storage and i also see we've got some plug-in right there with the 12 volt circular and with the temperature controls look at this we've got rear zone digital passenger and driver you can sync it up or you can just set them individually it depends on what you want to do that's the fan speed, that's where the air comes out. Real easy to use, and then you can use different levels of our heated seats. This multimedia touchscreen, Carmel Valley Ranch, that's where I'm at. Whoa, that's cool. Yeah, I've been having fun, obviously. But I've been learning a lot about the Tundra and the Sequoia. So here we go, Sirius XM, all that jazz. And up top here, you can see we've got the red seats. Then we've got sunglass holder, but also sort of like a little spy thing. I'm trying to latch it on there. There we go. And you can see your kids in the back. Maybe they can see you. Where do we go? We go there. Lights. It's got safety connect too. You just pull that down and if you need to use it in a pinch, you can do that. Extremely helpful. Hopefully you'll never have to use it, but it's there. Then we've got lighting. Does it have sliders so I can block some sun out? Oh yeah. 
Oh yeah. And then keep in mind pricing. People ask that, I'll put at the end and the beginning, beginning and end, however you want to say it. But it's 42,000 for the front wheel drive, adding in delivery, any options. 43,9 or so for the all wheel drive. And all wheel drive would be perfect if you're somewhere where it rains a lot, where it snows a lot, if you want to go take it on the beach, to the mountains. Those could be some great places your family could benefit. So front wheel drive, all wheel drive. Tell me in the comment section, which one's for you? What do you think of the blueprint color? How do you like the red? We're gonna get some comments about the red for sure. I have two channels, one's Toyota, one's All Brands. Toyota Jeff Reviews, Auto Jeff Reviews. And then I'm on Instagram and TikTok at Toyota Jeff Reviews and at Auto Jeff Reviews. So thanks everybody so much. Peace to the world, see you next time.